so awkward. <laughs> I'm definitely not comfortable being on camera, but um, hey, hi everyone. Um, I have decided to show you my um, little studio, art space, office, whatever you want to call this. Because um, yeah, I feel like mine's a bit different, more on the dark side <laughs> compared to what you usually see on YouTube. So I haven't seen, at least yet, um, one that's um, kind of similar to what I've done here. So um, I thought why not show it to you and share it. And maybe um, if there's some people that um, have something similar, um, if there's any gothic or darkly inclined artist out there that you can use, it would be good, it would be really nice. Um, so yeah, here's a little studio tour. Okay, so this is when you enter the space. You are greeted by this um, dream catcher. I have a huge canvas that I started working on and I definitely need to finish this. A Game of Thrones with the Mother of Dragons on it. This is my office slash art studio slash working space. <laughs> okay, so I'm so sorry for the lighting. Um, it's really gray and cloudy today, so I cannot really do something about it. I have some artworks and just poster, another Game of Thrones poster. Okay, so I'm in f I'm on the other side. It's actually really tiny. I don't know if you can tell how small this is, but yeah. This is really small. I have an old furniture here. So where I store like Art stuff, papers, and artworks, and on the other video, my printer, <laughs> my other printer had died. This is one that my dad got from from a workplace um, that uh, closed basically, and this is a really good printer for basically printing when you need to print a lot of stuff. So it's only black and white, but it's really useful when I need to print. Um, Paperwork, some storage disk, yeah, I don't know. Here's my glass palette. I found this huge piece of glass. It's, it's it's really big, like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's big, it's huge. Well, pain, paintings on it, and now I'm keeping it here because I need to buy this um, scrapping thing to take off the paint. And here I store some artworks and um, canvases, and I have this kerchief. Yeah, kerchief to clean, if I need to clean. Here's my mansion-like wall. <laughs> um, I know it's not the taste of everyone and that's okay, but um, I wanted to have one wall that's really, like, it's completely full. And this is um, the one. So I will insert the Instagrams of the artists um, that I'm showing you. This one here, I've made this, and the others are for other artists. And the pictures that you see, this one and this one, are my great-great-grandparents. Some decor. I made this. I made this. And these two paintings here I made as well. Here is my, ooh, focus, thank you. Here's my big um, thing from art school, you know, where you, I have this um, big folder and I have canvases and another folder with artworks, and yeah, stuff like that. Here I have this little thing that's really convenient and fits perfectly in this space. So on this thing, I have, um, some old um, towels, whatever that is. I have some gouache here, oils, oils. Under it, I have gouache and mediums. I have this little thing.
thing that's this is actually powder that focus okay it's actually powder that you mix with water and then you have oh see i have some gold some gold on my finger but yeah it's actually powder that you mix with water or with paint here i have some art books again some mediums for oils and when i need it you can just take this out okay i actually i was drawing i don't want to make this a hundred percent looking perfect so i just decided to keep it as it is so it's more realistic i only lit the candles just so it looks a bit more polished i rarely light these candles just for safety reasons but it looks it looks kind of cool it looks aesthetics <laughs> so i have one watercolor palette this one's from this is a van gogh one um last big gouache illustration i've made i'm gonna make print of this one um a big palette and this is this is glue actually i don't know where else to store it so it's here i have a ruler here is my big collection of paint brushes i have fluorite here if you're into crystals or metaphysics or spirituality um it is a great crystal for creativity and being productive and it's great to put it on your workstation um some tape on something for oh, cleaning your glasses i don't know wh why this is here but chandelier a pot with uh, pencils and yeah stuff um my mom made this pencil case like it looks so cool and in it i have postcards colored uh pencils colored pencils and, and things like that then i have pencils here's a bust <laughs> that i thrifted focus another small fluorite lamp i thrifted I thrifted this part and then I made the rest. I bought like this thing and just put it all together. Thrifted lamp, another pencil case. Actually, it's a makeup case, but I use it to put like my watercolor pencils in it. And also I have some tape and um, like removable tape and some pro markers and things like that. <laughs> I have many pencil cases, I know, but I like to be organized. For example, this is more of my um, Micron and uh, Stedler pencils and things like that. I have this, I have my good drawing pencils, pot of water, um, again, some stuff. Watercolor palette. Um, actually, I bought the case by itself with nothing in it and I did fill with watercolors that are from Bösner. So they're really good actually, so yeah. Here's my Moleskin sketchbook and I have been working on on this today. I really want to make um vampire characters. I cannot wait. And here's my laptop. And I have a little thing right here. Oh and also let me show you. Um need to show you under it palette that looks like shit. <laughs> and this is where I store my acrylic paints because as you can see they are big. Especially this one. This one's huge. Bin, trash can, whatever you call that. Cables, light box. Is that how you call that? Yeah, light box. Um, folder with um lots of paper in it. <laughs> I just really want to show you because this is where I put most of my stickers. Most of them are from tattoo artists, and <laughs> I absolutely love this one. This is amazing. Um, I made this one. This is the only one I've made. I have a mask here because I know it's not the best, but I really need to find um, one that's better because this space is just so small. And because I have all these things um, on the window, I cannot really open open wide the window. I only can open um, like that, you know? It doesn't, the air does not circulate a lot. And especially in winter, I live in France, Northern France. Um, it's really cold so yeah i try not to paint too much with oils in winter but um yeah for now i use this 
here I have um, notebooks. I love using notebooks. This paper, let me talk about this. This paper, and it's watercolor paper. And honestly, it's the best watercolor paper that I've tried. Like, it's just so good. I hope it catches the, the grain of it. It's, it's really amazing. Like, really, it's thick and... Like that. Yeah, I have other notebooks here again. My diary. I have this really cool thing. This is um paper cutter, and um I don't know how you call that in English, but um yeah, it's you know see. This is awesome. I thrifted this thing. <laughs> other um like um sketch stuff. This big one, I actually did, here's the key, here's the key that, that goes here, but when I sit down on my desk, I, I just like being all over on my, on my space, and this key constantly keeps getting in my, in my belly, so I decided to put it here. I have my iPad Pro here. Um, the same paper, but in A4 size. Laptop case, another notebook. Um, another sketchbook, paper and paper. Again, sketchbook. Oh, I needed this one, by the way, so I'm going to leave it here. It's another small Moleskin one. And I have paper and I have another ruler and small notebooks and things like that. And sketchbooks. And I almost forgot to show my chair i know it hasn't seen better days definitely but this was uh, the old gaming chair that my boyfriend had he changed it like two years ago and he gave me this one um it's not ideal especially since i have this old um desk um like you can see it um, doesn't go in unfortunately um but yeah, I really don't want to get rid of this desk, even though it's not ideal for working and drawing because um, for sitting and all, it's really convenient because I have just so much storage and I have so much. And actually, it's pretty, it's pretty wide, so you have lots of space, as you can tell from all the stuff that I put on here. So I, I really like it. Oh, and I feel like I really need to mention that because this um, space is really small, I couldn't do anything else than really an office. Like, I'm not really interested in having a walk-in closet or anything like that. Um, so it's actually a perfect space and especially with the big window I get lots of light, so it's really nice to work. Um, but other than that, I have big things that definitely don't fit here, like my easel. My easel is actually in the hallway that's just here. And, um, and there's another room um, behind this wall. Um, where I usually let my um, paintings dry, like my oils, oil paintings and things like that. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, let me what let me know what you think <laughs> about this space. I just know I know it's a bit um, it's a bit uncommon and it's um, it's definitely not the taste of everyone. I know that, but this is my personal taste. I really like how I how I made this. So yeah. Thank you for watching.